believe one of the artists that really impressed me today, his name is Ezra. He was blonde and he rapped like no other Fijian I've ever heard rap. He was just so, uh, there was just raw talent. And on top of that, he wrote his original lyrics. And that was very impressive. And on top, on top of that, it was just not, it was just, you know, not just a, uh, an original lyrics. It was, it, was, it, it was a message, it was empowerment, it was real, it was authentic, it was grassroots, you know? It was about the struggles of life that they were going through and it was very relatable. So, so I see a lot of potential in Ezra. He was just so passionate and he just went all out. For a moment, it probably would have been one of those uh, big um, rappers that are already established, but he just said like, I just sing the yes, yes. Surround yourself with greatness. The people who you surround yourself with in your life are important. If you surround yourself with people who build you up, who make you grow, who challenge you to be better, you're gonna become great. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with people who just tear you down, who tell you all the reasons why it's not gonna work, who tell you that you're not good enough, I call people like that the little man. If you surround yourself with people who are the little man, then soon you become the little man. If they listen to their friends, if they listen to the world that was currently available to them, they would have never been successful because what they created was not possible. Where your heart, your passion can create something, it can create a new reality that didn't exist before. So you want to do things because it's the right thing to do, because you were meant to do, because you feel it. And that comes from your heart, not because it makes logical sense to do it. You can always come up with an excuse why you can't do something. And you can say, I'm going to wait for the conditions to be perfect before I go out. The conditions are never perfect. If you wait for the conditions to be perfect to make your dream a reality, then you're going to be sitting on your dream for the rest of your life. If you want something, you go get it. Whatever you're trying to learn now, whatever new skill you're trying to pick up, the beginning stages, they're hard, it's frustrating, it sucks, but don't give up. Because if you keep practicing, you're gonna get better and better and better, and soon it won't hurt as much, you won't fall as much, you won't make as many mistakes. It's gonna be easier and you'll see more results. Ignore the non-believers. If you have an idea, you're gonna have people in your life who are doubters, who don't believe in what you're doing, who will tell you to do the safe thing, the smart thing, and go get a job, that your dream is just not possible. This is a stupid idea. You're gonna have a lot of those people in your life, especially if you have a big idea. All you get hit with is negativity. People saying, no, 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 no. And telling you all the reasons why it's not gonna work out. And it's so dangerous because you have a little bit of doubt yourself. And if all you hear is no, and all you see is darkness around you, at some point, this is where a lot of people fall down. This is where a lot of ideas die on the table. Because what happens is you start believing in other people and what they're saying more than you believe in yourself. You start thinking, these guys know what they're talking about. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this idea really is stupid. And you end up quitting. And then you see, a little while later, somebody else making huge dollars from your idea. And you kick yourself. And you say, that should have been me. I knew this was a good idea. But you stopped believing in yourself. And you started believing the doubters.